Alright, what's going on guys? Quigzu here, and welcome to my FIFA 21 Road to Glory. I've been playing FIFA since FIFA 16, and I've been wanting to make videos on it ever since then, but I never had a channel. But now that I do, I got myself a capture card, hooked it up to the Xbox, and I've been making videos on it. Let's hope we can make a good series out of it. I've been thinking of uploading this once or twice a week, probably alongside some COD once the new game comes out, because I've been bored of Warzone ever since the past couple weeks. But let me know if you guys want to see some more FIFA, how often you want to see it. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. I'll give you a tour of the club after week one, and let's check it out, starting with the squad. As you can see, I've gone for a little bit of a Serie A team for my first squad. We got some decent players in there, but I've been trying to upgrade it, work on it a little bit more. I've been trying to get Dybala into that cam spot, but I'm a little bit under budget right now. But yeah, favorite players so far for me gotta be Mertens. I've been, I was playing co-op with my friend last night and we just started going off with him. He doesn't stop scoring. 12 games, 18 goals, 6 assists, 4 star, 4 star, 5, 7 high, low. What more could you ask? 94 agility, 92 balance without a chem style is insane. He's got really good shot, great acceleration. That hunter chem style really helps bring that sprint speed up to speed. Another favorite player I got, Bernadeschi. 5 star skills, 80 rated cam, position change from right mid last year, 900 coins. Been a, he's a really good starter player for any of you guys out there looking for someone good. Good stats besides that. I mean, not the best stats, but 5 star skills really does help. Another great player, Caputo. Discard in form. Not the best skill moves, but look at his stats besides that. Great finishing, great agility, great sprint speed and acceleration. Good attack positioning in there. Great jumping and heading, so if you need someone to get those cross goals in, 5'11", 87 jumping, 82 heading, that's pretty good. For a discard info, I'm probably going to go up now that he's out of packs, but it's a great card to get. The midfield pretty stacked, we got the big boys in there, Vidal bullying everyone, we got Malinkovic Savage, decent card, pretty cheap too, only 8k. After you get those rivals placements in there, you'll probably be able to afford these guys Nine Golan's a little hefty price in there, but he's got great stats all around. I engine chem style on him I thought was the best. Got the back line, the sweaty back line, just pace, pace, pace. And then we got this first overhand first owner Handanovic I got from my uh pre-order packs. Not bad at all. He's not the most expensive guy. How much does he go for? He's only like 15k, but still. Good to get a walk out in there. Then we got, I've been trying Ribery out the past couple games because of that 5 star, 5 star at Cam. He's been pretty decent. Not bad card at all. Definitely recommend him to you guys, especially since he's only 1300 coins and that was just a lazy buy. But some other notable pack pulls I got. I got Zaha out of a 7.5k pack that I got for uh, objectives. So he's been pretty decent for me. I'm thinking of branching out, maybe doing Prem on the left, Serie A on the right. Because uh, Zaha is just too good not to use, I feel. Those five-star skills, that pace, and that dribbling. The strength, too. He's, I didn't realize he was that strong. But yeah, we got uh, we got Rodri, too. I mean, he's not really that expensive. I just like playing him as a super sub in the midfield. He's a decent card. A little slow for my liking. How much does he go for? Not bad. He's like 10k. Probably going to sell him off in a while. But yeah, that's really all I got for you guys right now. Uh, I'll explain to you guys how I got here, what I did, so you guys could learn how to get a team. I mean, most of you guys probably have teams like this or better than mine by now. But I'll let you guys know. So I got the game with the EA Play Early Access. So I hopped into squad battles. I only got to play a couple games. I got Silver 1, I think. I haven't played it since then. Just wanted to get those early rewards in there. And I actually got really lucky. I packed myself Joe Gomez out of like a 15k pack. Sold him for 95k. Allowed me to build the rest of this team. Got Merton straight away after that. So yeah, rivals wise, I got placed Div 5. Not really the best. Went 2 and 3 in the placement games. I played against some really sweaty players when I, they still had like, they had full prem teams while I was still playing with my starter team. So that was kind of unfortunate. I haven't really, I didn't play at all in FIFA 20, so I kind of got out of the way of the meta with everyone's doing like drag backs, one depth drop back. So, uh. 
It's a little weird coming back from FIFA 19 where I was just doing the La Croquetas non-stop. The El Tornado crosses and stuff. But yeah, I'm getting back into the works of Rivals. Since I got placed there, I've only lost one game and I've won like 10-11 with my friend Pete doing co-op. Which brings me to the topic of this Road to Glory. I've been thinking of making this like a unique series, doing like a co-op Road to Glory a little bit. Where most of the gameplay you see is me and my friends playing, because I think it brings a, a different aspect to the game where I actually get to talk to people. I'm not just here talking to you because I'm pretty bad at that. And I think it's pretty funny actually, we get a little funny moments. We were playing last night, we went like 10-1 and 1, I said earlier, co-op and do 5. It's actually a lot of fun, I recommend playing co-op to all of you guys. Pretty fun game mode. But yeah, Weekend League comes up next week. Rivals reward come out Thursday, so I guess I'll make an update video on that with my rewards sometime this weekend. So yeah, that's about it for this club tour video. That's all I really wanted to do for today was pitch to you guys this new idea, maybe see what you guys think of it. Let me know if you guys want to see some more videos on FIFA 21. I really enjoy playing it. I'm probably going to be playing this a lot during the upcoming months because I'm home. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.